here i am going to discuss about module 5 memory management in that first we will see what is swapping so as you already studied there are main memory and secondary storage within a computer and you know that a process must be placed in main memory for execution and the operating system is also located in main memory so basically swapping is the process of moving various processes between main memory and secondary memory or backing store when a process needs to be executed it must be loaded from secondary memory to main memory that process is known as swap in or roll in and the process which is no longer needed should be moved back to secondary storage this is known as swap out or roll out next i will discuss about contiguous memory location and contiguous memory location is one of the oldest memory allocation scheme and in this scheme consecutive memory blocks that is memory blocks having consecutive address is assigned to a process here is a figure with contiguous memory allocation of five files a b c d and e here you can see that the second file b is stored in the immediately next memory location after first file a and if sufficient memory is not available now the process will be added to the queue of waiting processes and in contiguous memory allocation scheme we can use either fixed size partitioning or variable size partition fixed size partition uses partitions of equal size and in variable size to partition scheme partition size varies and so here uh, we will discuss about some memory allocation strategies and in this memory allocation strategies we will be having some free holds and allocated memory areas allocated memory areas and free holds uh, holds means the free memory which is not allocated yet so there are three types of uh, memory allocation strategies first fit best fit and worst fit the simplest one is first fit algorithm in case of first fit algorithm the memory manager scans along a list of segments until it finds a hole that is big enough and in second case best fit algorithm the memory manager searches the entire list and it takes the smallest available hole that is adequate and in worst fit algorithm it always selects the or takes the largest available hole so these are the three types of memory allocation strategies and i will explain this with the help of an example so here is the example given five memory partitions of size 300 kb 600 kb 350 kb 200 kb 750 kb and 125 kb how would the first fit best fit and worst fit algorithms place processes of size 115 kb 500 kb 358 kb and 200 kb sorry 200 kb comma 375 kb in order which algorithm makes the most efficient use of the memory this is our problem so first consider the first fit algorithm in case of first fit algorithm we need to scan along the memory partitions in order to get an adequate uh, memory partition so first consider the process with the size 115 kb so here it is clear that process with size 150 kb can be accommodated in a memory partition with the size 300 kb we are scanning the memory partitions from the beginning so here i am going to allocate this 115 kb size process to the first partition with the size 300 kb so here comes 115 kb size process then next take the process with the size 500 kb here we can allocate or accommodate 
this second process to the second partition itself with the size 600 kb so here comes 500 kb process now take the third process with the size 358 kb we cannot store or load 358 kb size process to a partition with the size 350 kb so skip that 200 kb is not enough so take 750 kb so this 358 kb process can be accommodated in the partition with the size 750 kb so here comes 358 next take the process with the size 200 kb so while scanning from the beginning this is allocated 300 is allocated 600 allocated 350 is free then 200 kb is also free so we can allocate this 200 kb process with a partition of size 350 kb next take process with size 375 kb only the available partitions or only for the free partitions are now 200 kb and 125 kb we cannot satisfy a process of size 375 kb in both of these partitions so this process remains unallocated during first fit algorithm so next consider best fit algorithm in case of best fit strategy uh, we need to find out a hole which is which is the smallest or uh, in case of best fit algorithm the memory wastage will be smaller so here for finding out the smallest hole we need to sort the memory partitions in ascending order so here is the ascending order of memory partitions 125 kb comes first 200 300 350 600 and 750 so while allocating different memory locations to these processes we need to follow this order so first to take the process with the size 115 kb 115 kb can be allocated in the first partition 125 kb size so here comes 115 and second take 500 kb process 500 kb process can be allocated in a partition of size 600 kb we you need to scan from the beginning 125 not enough 200 300 350 these are all these values are less than this um, 500 so first value which is greater than or equal to 500 is 600 kb so here comes 500 kb process next take the third process with 358 kb 358 kb comes in 750 kb partition 358 next take 200 kb process 200 kb process can be allotted in 200 kb itself so this is 200 and last comes 375 kb process here the free partitions now are of size 300 kb 350 kb so we here also we cannot satisfy 350 kb's request and so this process also remains unallocated or this process needs to wait in best fit algorithm also now let's check the situation in worst fit in case of worst fit we need to find out the hole which is which is largest or we need to find out uh, the largest possible hole so for finding out the largest hole we need to sort the memory partitions in descending order so first come 750 kb then 600 350 300 200 and 125 so first take the process with the size 115 kb 115 kb process will be allotted in 750 kb slot so 115 comes here next 500 kb 500 kb comes in 600 kb slot next comes 
three fifty eight KB process. Three fifty eight KB process cannot be accommodated in any of these partitions. Three fifty, three hundred, two hundred, and one twenty five. So three fifty eight remains unallocated. Now take two hundred. Two hundred KB process can be allotted in the largest. possible hall 750 is already allocated 600 is already allocated now the largest one is 350 kb so this 200 kb process comes in 350 kb hall and last comes 375 kb process 375 kb process request cannot be satisfied since the first partition is only having 300 kb second one is 200 kb last one is 125 kb these three partitions cannot satisfy or cannot accommodate a process with the size 375 kb so this 375 pro kb process also remains unallocated so here in this worst fit algorithm two processes needs to wait process with the size 358 kb and process with the size 375 kb so while examining both or the, while examining all these algorithms here best fit algorithm proves to be the best one then comes first fit and then comes worst fit the efficiency of algorithm is basically expressed in terms of memory wastage now let's see a problem with contiguous memory allocation that is fragmentation fragmentation problem can be of two types external fragmentation and internal fragmentation first let's see what is external fragmentation so external fragmentation is the situation where total memory space is enough to satisfy a request but it is not contiguous so it cannot be used and i will make it clear with the help of an example consider the figure here five files a b c d and e are stored in consecutive memory locations or contiguous memory allocation example here if we are deleting files a and c here free blocks will be created three free blocks created in place of a and four free blocks created in place of c so here is seven free blocks now now if a process request comes and we cannot accommodate that process within either of these blocks because its size is greater than the size of the first hole and size of the second hole but the total memory space is enough to satisfy the request that situation is known as external fragmentation and this external fragmentation problem can be reduced to by compaction compaction is basically the solution to external fragmentation problem in compaction we will be rearranging the holes and allocated memory blocks and free blocks will be combined and after combining the free blocks we can satisfy different process requests and next one is about internal fragmentation internal fragmentation case in some cases the memory allotted to a process may be slightly larger than the requested memory suppose that a process request 495 bytes of memory process with the size 495 bytes and and the memory allotted to the process is with a size of 500 kilobytes then the difference between these two values 495 kilobytes is the size of the process and 
the allotted memory is of size 500 kb so the difference between these two 500 minus 495 kb that is 5 kilobytes that difference is called as internal fragmentation and that is the unused memory which is internal to a partition that unused memory is inside this partition and it cannot be used by different processes and this internal fragmentation problem can be reduced by assigning the smallest partition but large enough for the process that algorithm is known as best fit algorithm so best fit algorithm is a solution for this internal fragmentation problem and next one is about 50 percent rule so the first fit algorithm we have studied first fit algorithm reveals that if we are able to allocate n blocks to various processes another 0.5 n blocks is wasted due to fragmentation problem this is known as 50 percent rule so this is all about fragmentation and 50 percent rule these are some problems with contiguous memory allocation